Hey guys, Ro here and welcome to this video. I'm so excited to share this little project with you guys. It's a junk journal interactive folio flipbook album um, or whatever you wanna call it. I wasn't really sure, so that's what I rolled with, but um, it's really cute and it could be used as an insert to put inside of a junk journal or a standalone album like here. So I just covered it with a bow with this material that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> And then in the front, I just used the Tim Holtz frame with the cutout part in the back. And it says, beautiful. Cut into three parts, I guess. <laughs> and so when we open it, let me open it like this. And I've got my bird cage there. Oh, I just love these bird cages. And this is uh, using the LaBelle collection. I did a haul on that not long ago. And on this one, I just did a tuck spot. I did a cute little journaling card. I love the butterfly on there. And then over here we have a pocket with a couple cutout cards in it. It says, bring together always makes me smile. Or bing together, not be together. <laughs> and then this is like a love bingo card, I gather. And then over here we have these two pages that open like this. And we just have a belly band here that I put a couple cards in. And over here we have a flip up notepad. So it flips up like that. And then I just put a couple like scraps and then I put some blank pages here as well. So I'll show you how to make that. So these two are kind of like the two pages and then this pulls out kind of like a folio on this side. And so here we have two pockets that you can load with all kinds of fun stuff. So I just put a couple more cards in there inside of these pockets. And then over here, I just use my washi tape to put another little card. It says so grateful so then I can just uh, you know, use it like a little gratitude card and, you know, write five things or something that I'm grateful for. So I really love when they give you the prompts. So yeah, and so it closes like this and like this and then like this. So you could see it's thin enough to be an insert, but also, you know, cool enough to just be a standalone album like here. Um, definitely works better with double-sided paper for this project unless you want to cover up the white parts. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started making it. So we'll grab our scoreboard and our 12 by 12 sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, English Garden to make this one with you. Make sure you can see my board. And let's see, I'm trying to think what I want the middle part to be. So I think I'll do, um, I'll do this one. And I'll do this one and then this one on top of it. So we're gonna need two sheets. Let me take off my branding strip that are nine and a quarter by five and a half. So let me take this off and I'll go ahead and cut it up here. Okay, I need to scoot back. I keep pushing my uh, board all over the place. <laughs> okay, so nine and a quarter by five and a half. And then we need another one that's the exact same size. So this should be nine and a quarter. And then this one will also be five and a half. Okay, so with these two sheets, we're gonna go ahead and score them exactly the same. So let me grab my little phone folder thing. I'll turn this around to help myself out. And let's see, so we're gonna score it at four and a half and four and three quarters. So four and a half and four and three quarters. That's just gonna give us a little quarter inch gusset there. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Four and a half and four and three quarters. Okay, and then we will go ahead and burnish them on the two little score lines. And this paper is rather thick, so, <laughs> woo, okay. I forgot how thick. I haven't used this pad in so long, but um, I just, I wanted to make it double-sided again, like the first one. And this is one of the only pads that I have left that's double-sided that I can recall anyway. Um, okay, so we've got that one burnished. Let's go ahead and do our second sheet as well. And I think I'll do this one. And yeah, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll choose the patterns in a second here. And then go ahead and do this one. Yeah, I forgot how thick this paper is with this pad. Okay. 
And so then what we're gonna do is choose the one that you want to have as your two sheets that are gonna open like this because the idea here is that we have our two that are gonna open in the middle and then we'll have a flip out this way and a flip out that way. So just to give you an idea when you're choosing your pattern. So I think for me, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go this way and have mine like this, I think. All right, so then all we need to do is stick glue on our little quarter of an inch gusset here, and we're gonna stick it directly on top of the gusset on this one, so right on top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that. And if you wanted to make a smaller version of this album, um, I made a little one with uh, one of my recent videos, the four small interactive projects. It was three or four of them. I'll link it below, but it has like a baby size of the exact one that we're gonna make today. That's kind of like where this idea came from. I was like, oh, I wanna do a, a bigger version. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and glue this right here. I'm gonna grab my little bone folder to help press down and just right on top of the other one. And then we just wanna make sure that it's lined up good. So I'm gonna bring mine up just a tad. Just like that. And then I hold them generally like this and press down just to let that dry. So really easy. We just wanna make sure that it's gusset right on top of the other one. Okay, and so that part's done. So we'll let that dry for a sec while we do our next sheet. So uh, the next two that we're gonna need with, yeah, two sheets and they're gonna be five by five and a half. So I'm gonna do the little butterflies here. So let me take off my branding strip. Okay, and I need to pay attention to, give me two seconds, guys. So it's uh, five, yeah. So I'm gonna do the five, I think like this, because I think I want my pattern going this way. So hopefully that's right. So five by five and a half. And let me see if this one will give me another five and a half. Yay, it does. And this should also be five. Okay, so we have our two sheets that are five by five and a half. And then what we're gonna do is score each one of these at half an inch on the five inch side. So this is my five inch side. And I will go ahead and score it at half an inch on this one five inch side again and we'll score it half an inch on this one and then we can go ahead and cut our corners if we want to and then we'll cut the corners on this one if you'd like and hopefully I lined up my pattern okay I guess I'll find out <laughs> and let me get my other one just to make sure yeah, so I'll put that in the front, kind of like a guide because I can don't remember that well. Okay, so this one is going to go. Uh, how did I do that? Let me see here. Yeah, okay. So I don't think I put the score line on the right side, so I'm going to have to switch up the way I do the pattern, unfortunately. So let's see, I'm just gonna go like this. So we're going to glue it with, um, oh, that's still cute. Okay, I'll just have the butterflies on the inside. Phew. <laughs> so we're going to glue this half an inch strip right here, right onto the page, like so. So right on top of it. And we'll just make sure that it's lined up here and here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm so glad my butterflies aren't gonna be upside down. <laughs> All right, I'll just make sure that's lined up nicely there. I'm gonna give mine a burnish because this paper is so thick, pretty much needs it. So then that closes like that and we'll just make sure that it closes okay, which it does. Okay, and then we're gonna put the other one on the other side. So we're gonna move our two little pages over right here and we're gonna put this one over here and glue it the exact same way we did the other one. And so it's gonna come out and flip out like that. 
So we'll go ahead and put glue on our little half an inch strip here. All right, we're just gonna make sure that's lined up nicely and even. All right, and make sure that it closes okay, and it does, so we're good to go. Okay, so, so far we have this one that flips out, we have our two pages in the middle, and then we have this one that flips out. So now, let's see, what should we make next? I think we'll do our inner side pockets. So those are two by five and a half, and those are gonna be the two pockets that go here. So next we'll go ahead and make um, the pockets right here. So you can get an idea. Okay, so we'll do those next. So two by five and a half, and we're gonna need two sheets. So I'll move that out the way. Let me grab one of them that I think would be pretty for the pocket. Maybe this one. Well, I should probably use sheets that I've already cut already. So I'll do the butterflies again. So, okay, so two by five and a half. So let's go down to, I think I'm gonna do the five and a half first and then cut down the two. So five and a half by two. Can you guys still see that? Okay, make sure it's in the camera. Okay, so there's one, two by five and a half and then here's my next one. And then what I like to do, I'm gonna turn it so I have two different patterns here and I wanna put our little notch at the same time. So I'm gonna stick these together and then do my little notch there so that they match up good. I'm just eyeballing for the middle, like so, and then we can go ahead and glue them on like that. So let's grab our album and we can go ahead and we're gonna put one of our pockets is gonna end up going right over this little half an inch strip here so that we can cover it up. And then the other one would go like kind of in the middle, but almost in the middle, but more this way so that we have room to stick our stuff in. So let's do this pocket first, but just to give you an idea of where we're going here, we're gonna do our middle one first. And I'm just trying to line it up and see where I want it to go. And I think I like it there. And you can choose to glue this part if you want or leave it open and you know have more room to throw stuff in. So I think I'm gonna do it that way. So I'm only gonna put glue here and here. So let's go ahead and do that. It's coming back to me now. I made this album last week, some, I think. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember what I did. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and stick this almost to the middle, but not all the way, so we have room in our pocket. I think I want it like right there. But you know, it's really up to you, whatever you're feeling. And I'm gonna leave this strip out so that when I put stuff in, it can, you know, have more room to go down. All right, and now we're gonna do this one and that will cover up that strip there that we glued on top. So, okay, and this one, I am going to put glue three times around. So we're gonna put glue here, here, and here, not where we have the notch, and of course not in the middle. And a thin bead of glue, not like what I'm doing, which is crazy, <laughs> um, so that you have more room in your pocket. All right, and we're gonna go like this. So this is great because you can do like a junk journal theme or you can even, you know, do like a regular, um, like a mini album, flip book type of thing. And let's make sure that we put it all the way up to this score line, but not pass it so we can turn our page. And I can barely see, so I'll use this as my guide and that's good to go. Okay, and so now we have our cute little pockets that we can put stuff in over here. Or it can go this way. And it's actually cute to put other like little, especially if it's junk journal theme, you can put like tickets and, you know, all kinds of cute little things that are a little smaller than these cards for these pockets. It's really uh, great for that. Okay, and so next, let's go ahead and make our inner front angle pocket. So that is going to be the pocket that goes right here. So, uh, let's see, that one, okay. So let's go ahead and make that. I'll put that to the side. 
And so for that one is four and a half by five and a half. So four and a half, well, I'm gonna do five and a half first. I always like to do the larger uh, cut first. So five and a half by four and a half. Okay, and this we're gonna do a little bit of angle cutting really however you want to cut it but the idea here is to put this pocket like right here and so another idea if you don't want to do the angle pocket there you can do a half an inch score line right here and make it into another flap if you want to um, and then you could just cover that strip up with another little pocket on the inside if you want to similar to what we did over there um, or you can also just cut it halfway right here the measurements will still work fine so you can cut it in half and just do that regular pocket there. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that one and we'll cut an angle here. So I'm trying to remember how I did angle cut this. Let's see. I think it went something like this. You could just kind of choose how wide. We wanna have like a little bit left here and a little bit left up here. So you just kind of eyeball it where you want it. I think I like mine like right there. See, and then that gives us a little bit of angle, but we still have this part here and there, which I liked. Actually, I don't have, I made this one more straight over here. It's like more pointy there, but I kind of like it like this too. Let me see what it looks like. Just, let's see. Oh, I like that too. Um, and it can stuff stuff inside. And I actually did not glue this part all the way down. I only glued there and there, and I left this here. But if you want it just like mine, let's go ahead and make that more pointy top there. So then, let's see, I think then we're gonna go something like, make sure that corner is in our cutting line and go something like this. So let's see, there we go. And now we have more of like that angle cut. And we can just go ahead and stick that right there. So I'm only gonna put glue here and here give it a little bit of an opening. I think it adds a little bit of character to it, more room to stuff stuff inside of it. But you know, you could also put glue right here if you wanted to. But I'm gonna leave mine like that. So we're gonna make sure to cover up this little half an inch panel right here. And all the way to the score line, but not, you know, over it or on it so that we can turn our page. And there we go, so cute, it's coming together. So we have this pocket here that we can play around and put stuff in. I did a cornered little tuck here, but you could also do the same thing. You can cut another one and use it as a half pocket, really whatever you wanna do. There's so many things you can do with this album, which is why I thought it was so fun. All right, and so I think next what we're gonna do is our flip up notepad, I believe. Let's see what I wrote down here. Yep, flip up notepad yet. So now all we need is a strip that is two by four and a half. So let me find a strip that I wanna use for that. That's for the top there. Uh, I think I'll use this one. So let's see, four and a half by two. And we are going to score that at one inch on this two inch side. Hey, get out of there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and score that right down the middle. We'll fold it and we'll put this aside for now because we will need this for our little flip up. And then let's go ahead and make the pages. So here you have all these fun junk journal options if that's the style that you're doing because like I did a couple little loose uh, scraps that I had right here and then I put the blank pages. Um, so you can really choose. I mean, it would be cute as well with like some, I think I have some nearby, some um, these like music sheets, you know, that you can put and cut all kind of ways and stick there as well, you know, with the other ones, really whatever you want to do. I'm just going to use some blank sheets um, just to show you, but, you know, keep in mind, you can use some scraps, angle cut them and just have a lot of fun with your notepad. So let's cut these sheets down and then we can put it together. So our sheets are gonna be five and a half by four and a half. And you know, use however many you want to go in your notepad. So five and a half by four and a half. 
Okay, and so the idea here is, and let me see, I just wanna have some fun with these little music sheets. So I'm just gonna play around for half a second here. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that part off and I wanna angle cut this a little bit. Just playing around here, just curious. I'm gonna do something like, like this, I don't know. Just wanna use my sheets, okay? <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll just use one for now. All right, so then what we do is, let me see, I think I remember, okay. So we're going to put this in like this, right there, and then what we're gonna do is put our staple right on this side. So we're leaving this flap alone, okay? We're not messing with this flap right now. So everything's about this top piece right here, and we are just going to use our stapler to put a little staple right here in the middle kind of sort of towards the top. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna put mine, let me see, maybe I'll put my music notes, make sure it gets in the staple. Well, I don't like how that looks in the middle, so hold on, let me see what I got going on here. Probably should have cut it like I did my first one, but. All right, so I think my staple will be okay right here. It'll grab it. So I'm just gonna, I'll show you right after where it ends up being. So. I don't know if you can see it, but the staple ended up being right here. And I covered that up later, so it doesn't matter too much if you're going to cover it. But yeah, it's like that far from this folding line right there. And it holds my little extra music sheet in there. Okay, and so then all we need to do is grab our album. And where is it? So our flip-up notebook, these two pages here, it's the one, this page is where we're putting it. And we're just gonna glue this little extra flap. We put glue there and we're just gonna put it right on top here. I would focus on this corner right here so that you don't end up on your folding line. Okay, so just make sure to do a quick test there just to make sure that it folds okay. All right, and so we'll go ahead and glue that. So that way we have it flip up. All right, so I'm gonna focus on this corner over here. I want it really matched up with that corner and that should take care of this side. And so now that should be fine. So let me make sure that everything folds up okay real quick before my glue dries. And so I think we're okay, but actually I think mine is a little bit too long, my little strip. So I'm gonna cut it off a little bit. I do think that my strip is a little too large. So let me just cut that off ever so slightly. And now let me make sure here. The corner. My glue is tired of me. It's like, look, I'm ready to, I'm ready to retire now. Figure it out, Ro. <laughs> Let's see here. I think we got it now. Yep, so now it's good to go. I just had a little bit of overage and I have a slight little bit down here too. So let me just cut that down just a little bit. All right, and now I think we're good. Yep, okay. All is well now, all right. And so you can have a lot of fun with this part. Um, and I think what I did was I took a strip and used my decorative scissors and I just did a little strip across. I stuck that on top and then I just put like a sentiment and that went right on top of the staple. So you can really, you know, use washi tape or whatever you want. With this pattern, I can hardly see it. Um, but you could really, you know, do whatever you want to cover that up if you even choose to. But it's kind of cute the way that it is. And yeah, I probably went a little overboard with this little music strip because I think that's why mine ended up being a little wonky. <laughs> All right. And so next, let's see. I think we have our belly band. So that's five and a half by one and three quarters. So the belly band goes right here if you wanted to do that. Or you can do some collaging or more pockets or something. But I'll go ahead and stick a belly band there. So that one is, I kind of want to use another pattern. I think I'll do this one. All right, so that was five and a half. This is already five and a half by one and three quarters. 
And that goes right here, right in the middle, like so. And if it looks a little different than this one, that's just because I put another sheet behind the belly band that I glued to the page. I don't remember what my reasoning was for that. I think I just wanted to play with that sheet or something, but that was the reasoning for that. And then, so for our little belly band here, we're just gonna put glue right here and right here. And of course you can put your, you know, chop a little bit off and put a belly band in the middle there too, if you wanted. So I will go ahead and put glue here and put glue here at the bottom. And we'll just go ahead and eyeball, eyeball that right in the middle. And voila, now we have our belly band. So let's see what we got here. We have our first page here, our pocket here. We have our two middle pages right here that we have our little flip up notebook. And we have this and then this comes over, comes out like that. And we have our two pockets here. So I think that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything. And then from there, you just have a blast decorating you can stick this uh, definitely inside of a junk journal. It's a fun album to do for that. And it's ready to go. It's like, it's so thin. It's like a quarter inch thick, but like there's so much fun stuff that you can do inside of it. So I really enjoyed making this one. And like I said earlier, if you want to do a smaller version of this one, kind of like a mini mini, um, check out the video. I will drop it below with those uh, small projects. We did a baby version of this. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I always have fun crafting with you. So until next time, happy crafting. See you later.